Hello guys, it's been a little while since I filmed a sit down chatty video for you. Hi honey. Sorry, my dog's like sneezing. I also got new glasses. What do you think? I'm not wearing any makeup because I literally leave to go to the airport for my summer traveling plans in three hours. And I just wanted to quickly film this Q&A video for you. Um, I have all the questions that I wanted to chat about very casually before I leave. So hopefully this will be a nice catch up. I've definitely missed you guys. And I honestly don't know how free I will be this summer to sit down and chat with you again. And you'll find out why very soon. But yeah, I'm glad I can do this before I leave. So let's get started. I asked you guys questions on Instagram and you guys submitted a lot. How are you? And are you still as motivated after three years? Hugs from Germany. Thank you for asking, much love to you. I am doing really well, I think, especially because the school is now over, so it's summer. it is summer for me. I think looking back on this past year, it definitely had ups, definitely had downs, but overall, really, really good, and getting to meet so many new people was amazing. And of course, being on campus, I was like the biggest thing. In terms of how motivated I am, I think I'm definitely not as motivated, but this seems to be a general trend for college st students. When they move on from high school and they go into college, they lose a lot of motivation. <laughs> That's definitely something that I'm feeling really deep in my core. It's okay, I am still definitely, you know, getting my work done, but it takes a lot more energy <laughs> to do the things I'm supposed to. How was this last semester? Favorite subjects, memories, etc. Favorite subjects for this past semester. I don't have a particularly favorite subject. I mean, my neuroscience junior tutorial was really cool. I would say my favorite class I've taken all year was definitely in my uh, junior fall. I took this ethnicity migration rights class, which is so, so good. It was really cool. It was called Power Knowledge Identity. We read a lot of really good pieces, theory, talked a lot about current events and dissecting more academic terms that maybe are thrown around a lot, like intersectionality and race versus ethnicity, that kind of thing. So it was really cool to, to dive into that in that class. Favorite memories? I think there was this group of friends that I had in my residential house, Quincy House at Harvard, and we all just really got so, so tight, so close, made a lot of really great memories hanging out all the time. So I think that's a great part with being on campus this past year, getting to uh, meet new people and form new friendships. That was really fun. What are your summer plans? Always love watching you. And how's learning Portuguese going? Do you plan on traveling to Brazil or someplace else? So I teased on my Instagram story that I am learning Portuguese. Olá, meu nome é Cristina. Estou bem, tudo bem. Sim, estou aprendendo português pouco a pouco. I think that's okay. <laughs> so my summer plans, I'm very excited to say, and the reason why I'm leaving for the airport in three hours is I'm going to Portugal for June and July for two months, and I will be shadowing in hospitals there, which is just so incredible. I still can't believe it. I was so, so lucky and fortunate enough to have Harvard pay for this entire program for me. I'm going to be shadowing there in hospitals with seven other Harvard students. I'll definitely love to vlog what I can. Probably can't vlog in the hospitals, but certainly the rest of my trip, I wanna definitely capture some of those memories. I've never been to Europe before. I'm so excited, nervous and excited. So that's why I've been trying to teach myself some Portuguese and pick it up a bit. Definitely going to be reviewing on the plane and hopefully pick up some more, but I'm excited to just be there and travel and explore new places and foods and meet new people. I think it'll be really fun, so. You guys can definitely look forward to some vlogs for that this summer. And after that, in August, I'll just be here, just back in the States until school starts in late August. Update of med school, love you. And what's your plan after college? Love from Japan. Love you both, thank you. So yeah, in terms of my plans after college, I am definitely going to be taking at least one gap year after receiving my bachelor's degree from Harvard. And during that year, hopefully work, apply to medical schools, and see where I end up from there. But definitely at least one gap year. I will not be going straight through. My primary focus will be um, earning money. So get a job probably. Keep doing YouTube because I love catching up with you guys. But yeah, that's what it's looking like for me right now in terms of the med school path and post-grad. What's your favorite thing about college life? This mostly applies to the in-person year, but whenever you have the opportunity to meet new people every day, like you're just place in this environment where new interactions are a given essentially every single day. I think that's the, the best part truly because I know that I've heard from like post-grad, it seems to be a bit harder. And so I think having that 
kind of space where it's just everyone everyone is just so excited for new experiences all the time and especially going into my senior year i'm really looking forward to making some long lasting memories that's something that's sticking out to me as like my my favorite thing so far are you ready for bts comeback hashtag proof yes i'm very excited i don't know what to expect i feel like do we have more details i genuinely don't know like are they are they re-recording things is it gonna be like a taylor's version-esque comeback or are they just released like i don't know maybe you guys know more than me but i'm definitely excited any bts comeback is a reason to be excited do you have a bf or a special summon right now no special summon right now i feel like even if i did I would not want to share that on YouTube. I'd want to keep that private. So I hope you guys understand that. Yeah, I don't feel like I, that's something that I necessarily see a reason to share. Who knows, maybe things change. Things change all the time, but currently no special someone, but I probably wouldn't share on social media too much if, if I did get one. <laughs> Current faves, books, movies, podcasts, lots of love. And someone also asked K-drama recommendations. So books, I've not been able to read a lot of books lately. Junior Spring really caught up to me. I was reading The Vanishing Half for a little bit, but I had to put that down just because classes, work got so, so caught up to me. Movies, I rewatched Luca recently with my mom and I remembered what a, what a lovely film that is. So that was really fun. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh my God, crazy. I've watched it twice so good i love the movies where you want to go home and search up all the behind the scenes stuff and the director's cuts and interviews so that was one of those movies for me hearing about the artistic process the artistic and creative process that the daniels went through they're the ones who who created the film oh my god it's crazy they're just mad evil geniuses it's so good podcasts i don't really listen to a lot of podcasts i recently listened to this one episode that one of my roommates recommended which was like these two people dissected fearless taylor's version and it was so cool oh my god it was right on my alley both of them were super big taylor fans but then they were dissecting both the societal impact of it and then also the the more scientific neurological nuances of like comparing between the old and new versions so that was just so fun yeah podcast wise i mean to each their own i'm sure a lot of you will have great recs so maybe you can leave it in the comments below k drama recommendation i'm currently re-watching run on at such a comfort show i recently watched 39 which was really great some of my all-time favorites are hospital playlist extraordinary you weightlifting fairy kim Bok reply 1988 yeah those are some good ones. Do you plan to continue YouTube even after you start working? Yeah, I think I mentioned this a little bit before in one of the earlier questions, but I would love to. I think the biggest thing for me is, as I'm sure you can tell, I don't have a set schedule for, <laughs> for uploading YouTube videos. It's because it's very much a, this is something I do because I genuinely enjoy doing it. I enjoy talking to you guys and interacting with you guys and making content for you guys, but I don't want this to take over my life because then that kind of takes the joy out of it. So I would love to continue doing it. I can't say with what kind of regularity but I would love to continue it into med school who knows what after who knows how old I'll be by then but I would love to continue making YouTube videos for as long as I can it's also a great time capsule for me so I can look back on it and see what I look like as a silly little college freshman <laughs> not a question but I hope everyone in your family are doing amazing thank you that's very kind everyone's doing great we're doing as well as we can I think my sister's just graduated college is just so crazy she she graduated this past may so she is now a woman with a degree which is awesome and she's gonna be working in boston next year so i will still be seeing her during my senior year which is great and yeah everyone else is doing great thank you <laughs> are you looking forward to senior year i <laughs> i'm nervous i think because this past spring semester was the first time we saw what senior activities for graduation actually looked like and it was a lot more bittersweet than i thought because in past years everyone had been virtual we didn't actually see what it looked like for the seniors so i think seeing everyone everyone meaning the seniors spending so much time together doing fun things and just a lot of tears and laughter just all around campus in the last few weeks was just really bittersweet to see so i think i'm i'm nervous about that but excited to just go into it with the mindset of making the most of it while i can what are the things that are inspiring you lately i think realizing how big the world is is very really inspiring the thing that's been on my mind lately is just the fact that i'm going to europe and that's just a whole other continent portugal is a whole new country and so that's going to be a lot of new experiences and i remember feeling so blessed and invigorated after the trip to puerto rico over spring break with my friends because it's just such a beautiful place and i'm excited to have that kind of experience again this summer and doing such meaningful work shadowing in hospitals and getting to see what that work environment is like in a country with 
free public health care so I feel like I'm really excited about that so that's been definitely inspiring just combining like these personal growth milestones with semi-career academic milestones so I think I'm really excited for this this summer that's really been inspiring me lately and last thing advice for someone who's afraid to show her true self I really get that and I think whenever I come home I'm always thinking back what life was like in high school for me who I was in high school versus now about to enter my last year of college and I think the biggest thing is when you're surrounded by the right people showing your true self should just come naturally because you know they'll love you unconditionally but also when you do things that genuinely reinvigorate you and excite you and inspire you or you only consume content, especially on the internet, I think that really resonates with young people, that genuinely invigorates and inspires you. That's when you feel the most confident in yourself and that's when your truest self just comes out kind of naturally. I think meeting such wonderful people in college where I feel like it's such a judgment-free zone and I, I know that I'm loved no matter what I do or what mistakes I make, I think that's been the, the best way to help me grow more confident in who I really am and slowly figuring out what kind of career path I want to go down has been so exciting because I feel like my life has a bit more meaning in that way. I also know that more so than like, oh, I want to go to medical school and study this and that, knowing that I'm the kind of person that's like, I want to help people, I want to, to listen to people and hear their stories and I want to make myself available to assist others however I can. That can happen in any career path so I know that if anything changes for whatever reason I'll still be okay as long as I stick to that and that makes me more confident in who I am. The more time that you spend sitting with yourself, reflecting, journaling, maybe listening to music that inspires you, looking at art and taking yourself on dates, I did that a lot this past year, it was really great. I went to art museums and you know bookstores and went out for meals and stuff but just spending more time with yourself and being present with yourself i think you'll grow to really love and respect who you are and that makes it easier to show who you truly are to everyone else and the people who really matter will gravitate towards that anyway so i really do believe in that so that's it for this very quick q a session it was really nice to catch up with you guys i'm so excited to show you my summer adventures in Portugal. I don't know when this video will go up, but by the time you see it um, and you're following me on Instagram, you already know about my Portugal plans, but hopefully this gives you a little bit more detail into that, as well as what I'm, what I've been up to and how I've been feeling and what I've been thinking about lately. But thank you so much for catching up with me and I will see you guys very, very soon. Hopefully it will be my next vlog, maybe in Portugal. <laughs>